And ABC News Brief, now from Washington, George Strait. Good evening. Prompted by the August crash of the Delta Airlines plane that killed 14 people in Dallas, the Federal Aviation Administration today ordered airlines to inspect takeoff warning devices on Boeing 727s and 737s every 200 flight hours. A check of 1,200 of the aircraft last month turned up 35 with malfunctioning warning devices. ABC News has learned that a federal indictment of former Philippine President Ferdinand Marcos is expected tomorrow. Marcos, who's now living in Hawaii, faces charges including racketeering, fraud, and obstruction of justice. A draft report from the Environmental Protection Agency says the greenhouse effect is likely to raise ocean levels, cause more droughts, and increase urban smog. In Alaska, rescuers racing to free three trapped gray whales began using a propeller-like underwater ice melter today to keep the mammal's life-saving hole in the ice from freezing over. An ice-breaking barge is making slower-than-expected progress in reaching the area. Tonight on Nightline, in an exclusive interview, Jordan's King Hussein puts himself back into the Middle East peace process and right in the middle of the Israeli election campaign.